Hey guys, Jimbo here with another specialty soda review for you. Uh, today we're going to be doing another soda from Main Root, um, from Main Root uh, Beverage Company. Um, the last one I did was their uh, Ginger Brew, which if you guys saw the video, you'll know I didn't care too much for. Uh, today we're going to be changing it up a little bit and doing something that is a bit more uh, to my liking. Um, like I said in my previous video, um, I'm a big root beer fan. I love specialty root beers, craft root beers, or even a plain old A&W flow. You know, I mean, I've, I've got my preferences, guys, but I'm just a root beer nut. You know, I love this stuff. So today, I thought we would do um, Main Roots Root Beer. You know, their, their stab at the root beer market. Um, again, these guys are located in Maine. Um, they're kind of like a mom and pop um, uh, soda pop company. So, mom and soda pop company. Um, I'm going to give you guys the ingredients on this one. Let me show you the label real quick. Main Root Root Beer. Okay, ingredients. We have carbonated pure water, fair trade certified organic cane juices and spices, and it specifies that it's caffeine free. Uh, for the record, guys, I only personally know of one root beer that is caffeinated, and that's Barks, um, which I'm not a huge fan of. They're, they're okay every now and again, um, but I, I don't know. I guess I'm more of a, a classic root beer kind of guy. You know, nothing against uh, Barks fans out there, guys. I guess I just like the old school stuff a little bit better. But um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll crack open this main root root beer, and we'll see how we do. Once again, using the awesome Playboy bottle opener. Cheers. Mmm, damn, that's good. It's, um... This one, they say it's organic cane juice, and you can definitely taste it. Um, it's got it's got a real uh, sugary kind of aftertaste to it. Not not too sweet, but it's noticeable. You can definitely taste the vanilla in there. Uh, one of the key ingredients, guys, in a lot of, uh, of root beers out there, craft root beers like Stewart's, um, and even guys like A&W, um, they used uh, vanilla or aged vanilla. Uh, to give you that kind of smooth aftertaste to it. Um, some companies use other things, uh, like Dominion uh, uses honey as opposed to aged vanilla. They do have vanilla in their root beer, but um, not to the degree that things like Stewart and uh, and A and W and some of the other uh, craft guys, craft brews, use. Um, these guys definitely use vanilla, but um, I think the the organic cane juice, which is basically just sugar, kind of smooths out the aftertaste. Let's get one more pull. Oh man, is that smooth. That's just, that's the way a root beer should go down. You know, you get a bit of a kick right at the beginning there, but as the aftertaste sets in, it's just smooth as silk. Uh, that's, that's a damn good root beer. I can, I can absolutely recommend this one uh, to any of you root beer fanatics out there, man. This is a damn good one. Let's give it one more. Let's give it a big one this time. Two swallows on that one. Whew. Wow, that's really good. Again, I, I really dig this one. Main Root, you guys got this one right. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Hope you found this uh, soda video um, entertaining and informative. And stay tuned for more soon. Thanks everyone for watching.